Good morning scholars. This morning we're going to be looking at addition of days, weeks, months, years, and so on. Right, so we're doing this. This is at grade four level. Now the important thing to remember when we're adding months, days, weeks, hours, and so on, we need to know first of all how many of each unit makes the other unit. So for example, there are seven days in one week, 24 hours in one day, 12 months in one year, four weeks in one month, and so on. Right? So let's say that again. Seven days make one week, 24 hours make one day, 12 months make one year, four weeks make one month. And we have other units of time so I'm, but once you follow the steps that I'm going to show you for these you can use you can use it to work any combination any division of time so we need to remember when we're adding for example the days and hours since there are 24 hours in one day if we get 24 or more under the hours we can't put it down we have to see how many groups of 24 we can get out of that and transfer it to the days so if we get 24 hours that's one full day we're going to put zero hours left and transfer that as one full day okay so that's the important thing that's a crucial point when we're adding hours and days. So let's add and see. 5 and 2, 7, 1 and 1, 2. So we have 27 hours. But we know that we're not supposed to have more than 23 because once it gets to 24, we can transfer that as one day. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take out the 24 we have three hours remain and this 24 hours we're going to carry it over here as one full day get that so we can't leave the 27 hours we have to take out a group of 24 hours put it over in the days because that's one full day 24 hours make one day and we are left with three hours so now we add the days 9 and 1 10 and 2 12. So our final answer is really 12 days and 3 hours. Right? 12 days, 3 hours. Okay. So again, we're adding and we get 21. Can we let that remain there? Yes, because it's less than 24. Once it's less than 24, it can stay over the hours. 6 plus 6 is 12. So that's 12 days and 21 hours. We're perfectly fine leaving the 21 under the hours. Okay, so let's add again over here. 3 plus 6, 9. 2 plus 1, 3. We can't leave 39 hours there because we can take out a group of 24 from that. So let's see what is left back if we remove this batch of 24, we are left with 15 hours, that's fine, 15 hours, that's fine. So this group of 24 hours, we are going to carry it over here to the days. Remember 24 hours make one full day. So we are going to transfer it over here to the days, 5 and 1 give. Six. Right? So that's six days and 15 hours. Are you getting the knack of it? Are you getting the, the gist of it? So once we have less than 24, we can leave it in the hours. If we have 24 or more hours, we have to ch um, change it over to days. Remember, there are 24 hours in one day. Now we go to the weeks, 
and days. So remember now, there are seven days in one week. So that means we can't have more than six over in the days because once you get seven, you're going to have to transfer that over as one week. It's the same principle, just that with the days and with the hours and days, it was 24 we're focusing on. Now with the weeks and days, we're focusing on seven because seven days make one week. So when we add four days and two days, we get six. And that's perfectly fine. We can leave the six, six days and eight weeks. So that's eight weeks, six days. Okay? When we add three and six, we get nine. We have a problem here because we, we're not supposed to have more than six days. Once it's seven or more, we have to transfer that to weeks. So we have to take seven out of the nine, and we're left with two days. This seven, we're going to bring it over here as one week. Okay? Seven days make one week. And now we can add the weeks. So one plus five is six, plus two, that's eight. And we bring down the 1. So that's 18 weeks and 2 days. Now you may be saying, but how come we're adding and we have subtraction going on here? The subtraction just means we are removing that group. Whether it's the 24 hours or the group of 7 days. We're putting it aside. Transferring it to the weeks or to the days as appropriate, right? Now, let's add six plus five is 11. We know we can't leave 11 under days. So we're going to see how many groups of seven we can take from the 11 and write what's left. So if we take out seven from 11, we're left with four days. This one group of seven that we just extracted, we're going to put it over here as one week and add it to that so that's three weeks. So it's three weeks and four days. All right, so now we're adding years and months. So let's recap. How many months are there in one year? There are 12 months in one year. So what that means is we're not supposed to get more than what? You notice that for all the others we're not supposed to get one more than one less than the, the amount. So 24 hours in a day we can have up to 23. Seven days in a week we can have up to six. So how many months do you think we can have up to under the months? Since there are 12 months in one year, we can have up to 11 months. Once we get to 12, we're going to have to transfer that as one year. So when we add the 9 and the 4, we get 13. Is that okay? Can we leave the 13 there? No, we can't. We can't leave the 13. We have to say, how many groups of 12 can we take from the 13? So let's subtract 12. When we take 12 from 13, we're just left with one month. So we can take one group of 12, and we're going to put that one group of 12 over with the years. Because one group of 12, that's, that, that's one year. 12 months make one year. So we're left with one month. And we, we took this 12 and we're bringing it over here as one year and now we can add the years. So 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 1, 5, and 1. So that's 15 years and 1 month. 15 years, 
one month. Okay, so let's add months and years. 11 plus 0 gives us the same 11. Any number added to 0 will give you the same number. Okay. So, can we leave this 11 here? Right, because we can have up to 11 under the months. It's not yet 12, so we don't need to change that to years and carry it over. We can leave the 11 there, so that's fine. And then 4 plus 5 would give 9. So that's 9 years and 11 months. Alright, now 9 plus 8, that's 17. We know that's a no no. We can't leave 17 months. Can't leave 17 under months. We must take out a group of 12. And we're left with 5. This group of 12, we're going to transfer it as 1 year. Now remember, we still follow our place value system here. So we don't carry it here, we bring it to this place. 1 plus 0 is 1, and that's 1. So that's 11 years and 5 months. Right? So it, you can apply this to hours and minutes, minutes and seconds, decades and years. Right? It does not really matter. Whichever unit you're, you're converting to, just find out how many of the smaller units are needed to make the bigger unit. And bear in mind, you can only have one less, up to one less than that amount. Right? So any, any kind of transfer you're doing, just remember, one less is acceptable up to that number. Once you have the full amount, you're going to have to transfer it over. So if we're working with days and hours, we know that there are 24 hours in a day, so we can have up to 23 under the hours. Once we get 24 or more, we have to take out a, a batch of 24, and that batch of 24 we carry it as one day and add it with the days. If we're working with weeks and days, we know that there are seven days in one week, so we can have up to six in the weeks. Once we get to seven or more, we need to take out that batch of seven, carry it over to do as one week. Or let's say you got 15 here. That means you could take out two groups of seven, because two sevens make 14. So it's not, it's not always one you're carrying over. It depends on how big the number is that you got here, right? So if you got 15, you take out two groups and carry it over. Usually, though, you're going to get less than two. If you're dealing with years and months, right, you can get up to 11 months under the months. Once you get to 12 or more, you have to take out that batch of 12, carry it over to the years. And then you can continue your adding. Suppose it was weeks and months. There are four weeks in one month, so you can have up to three months under the months. And, sorry, under the, under the weeks. You can have up to three weeks. Once you get to four, you have to transfer that as one month, and so on and on and on, right? So these are the basic principles of adding the um, transferring units. If you have been helped by this video, please share so that other students can benefit. Share it to your friends, your neighbors, your classmates. Even the adults in your family who help you from time to time and you want them to, be, to stay sharp so they are able to help you, share it to them as well. Please comment to say thank you, miss, 
if you have been helped and if you have any topics that you'd like me to talk about please let me know and I'll certainly do that do a video on that topic for you if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so now my scholars I'll see you in the next video